Every day is a good day to demo. <laughs> <laughs> In Thunder Bay, Ontario, on the northern shores of Lake Superior sits the Thunder Bay Generating Station. During the height of the pulp and paper industry, this coal-fired plant helped provide power to these factories until production started to slow down. Less demand, a government mandate to eliminate the burning of coal, and expensive boiler repairs led to its closure in 2018. This is where budget demolition steps in. Buying the entire property from Ontario Power Generation, they plan to demolish the generating station and eventually repurpose the land. It goes without saying that taking down this facility is a massive undertaking. The building is extremely well built and contains an enormous amount of recyclable materials. Budget demolition has the machines, operators and sharp minds required to bring this hulking plant to its knees. Welcome to Thunder Bay. This is one of our newest projects. We acquired this property not too long ago. It's the former OPG Thunder Bay Generating Station. This power station was a three boiler unit and they're, they're older boilers which needed a lot of repairs. They decided that it was time to decommission these three boilers and this entire facility. I'm Jeremy Lader, I'm the site manager for the former OPG facility. Quite a large job for us, it's one of the larger ones we've ever done and it's uh, quite unique as well because we own the property so we're working for ourselves going to be doing the blast in three phases. The stack will be first and then the precips and then the boiler. Huge job and we look forward to uh, completing this job in the next two to three years. The entire building or multiple groupings of buildings plus the stack, uh, they're all very large heavily reinforced buildings. When OPG builds something they don't build it lightly. They make sure they can stand the test of time with boilers of these nature, they're hung boilers, and when you hang a boiler, the boiler structure itself is 227 feet tall. And in order to hang a boiler of that size, you've got some substantial beams at the top level of that structure. So basically everything in this whole facility will leave here two by four, if not smaller. Everything here will be two by four. But before budget demolition can start their work, they need to assemble a team of explosives engineers and experts to assess the building. They will determine what prep work must be done before blast day. So yeah, separate here and then like what you're saying is where this precip roof is, the lower section, cut all a lot of that. Yeah. Every level going up or every second level, you gotta do a whole bunch of pre-cuts. And that way when she hits the ground, it just collapses. With the assistance of the engineers, budget demolition can now begin their work. So before the stack comes down, we really focus on the, the conveyor, the crusher building, the ash silo building, getting all those things knocked out of the way so we have a clear fall line for the stack and also preparing the precepts. So we want to blast that in December. So anything in the precept building that's 40 to 50 feet above grade, we have to clear right out and get it ready for Rakowski to set their charges. I'm Megan Gates. I'm the project coordinator for this project. So currently we have, an ab our abatement team is here and they're setting up to do the abatement for unit one, specifically the boiler area. And then currently we're doing scrap removal and demolition of the crusher house. We are also working to get ready for the chimney. So they're currently stripping out all the non-structural components of it. So then that way when we blast it, it'll be a clean break. Yeah. yeah. So we're about a quarter of the way up in boiler one. We're starting to set up some of the uh, enclosure for the asbestos removal. Tons of handwork, it's all labor heavy. Uh, so it's a lot of time, lots of hard work, but I have confidence in the, the crew that's doing it and they'll do a good job. It's a perfect day to demo. Every day is a good day to demo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is an appetizer until we get to the main structure. Just to get a feel for it, what kind of steel we're dealing with. It's, it's a big job, but there's probably nothing that we can't handle. Yeah. They give us the right tools to work with, we'll get the job done on time and on budget. 
Today I'm going to be uh, starting to cut down this tank up here. We're going to basically take everything out from 50 feet down. This is the first time I actually do something where we're actually doing an implosion on the building itself. So it's going to be an, an interesting project for me. I've never done anything like this yet and I'm excited to do it. With the work moving along, the team is on schedule to blow the 650-foot stack. We're, we're getting into the exciting part. We've, we've demolished a couple of buildings around us. We took down the conveyor section and the conveyor transfer house, which is a pretty cool couple of drops. And we are getting ready now to start felling the stack. And it's going to be a pretty good show. It's 650 feet and upwards of 11,000 tons of steel and concrete. And it's going to be impressive when it comes down. So right now we're at the bottom of the stack on the east side. We're getting ready to start cutting the wedge out. Right behind me it will take place and we will start this tomorrow. So we did a lot of prep work. We also stripped out everything in here from zero to 50 feet and insulation of the flues, all the little buildings in here, all been removed. Right now we are laying out all the cut lines. The first line we're doing here is our bird's mouth which is going to be on the kind of northwest side of the stack. So this will be the one face, one of two faces that get loaded with charges and blasted. In just a few weeks, the highest peak in Thunder Bay will be a pile of steel and rubble, marking the end of an era and the beginning of a new one. I'm looking forward to seeing how we complete all the different tiny little aspects of this job. But I want to see the stack fall. That'll be exciting, 650 feet up. You can see it from anywhere in Thunder Bay. And to have that gone is a really significant milestone, I would say, for this project, yeah. To recap, we're super enthusiastic about this. This is a huge job. This is a massive for our company. This is massive for our group. Can't wait to see this thing come down. We can't wait to get into it, start chewing through it, start blasting it, start felling it. Any type of demolition method that you can think of is going to be used on this facility and it's going to be a ton of fun and it's going to be a ton of enjoyment to watch and be a part of. So it's a, it's a blast, literally a blast.